FGM is not an African problem, it's not the Asian problem, it's a global problem. Young people can make the difference. Their voices are so much more powerful, they can make the change. Those ones who have been affected by FGM, I don't think really they have access to those clinics or hospitals who can really support them. It's not only about getting the service you need, there is a preparation behind because we are suffering about a trauma. There's a difference in opinion between the older generation and the younger generation. Why the practice is necessary? Why do girls need to be cut? What's the reason for it? For the older generation who most of the time have grew up in a society where FGM is a common practice, even to them it's unknown why FGM is such a necessity. It's just practice, it's just done. That dialogue between the two generations and their parents, their grandparents, that can allow them to break the ice. Their perspectives can change and it's not set in stone. You just need to make sure that you uh, spread the word and educate them and communicate with them in a way that they can understand and take in. It's that dialogue and communication that creates that change, even more so than law or policies or anything like that. There is a lot of girls in risk and there is already some of the victims that we are counting in Europe. African people living here sometimes are more conservative. They think they have to take with two hands their tradition because they don't feel integrated, they don't feel a part of this community. Then they think at least there is something that belongs to me that I have to save because I feel that it is in risk. Three million girls every year are in risk. I decided to bring all of my power to eradicate female genital cutting because I myself, I went through FGM. I just discovered that as an artist, my voice can be really pushing the work that a lot of NGOs are doing on the field to eradicate this, this flail. And this is one of the reasons why I decided to not keep myself as a victim and keep quiet. I decided to act. What we can do to really end FGM would be to get the young people, the young generation involved. I just said to myself, okay, we're going to use music with beautiful lyrics, beautiful melodies, and we put very strong messages to reach the young people because music is a so powerful way of communicating. I decided to become an ambassador because as a young person, I think it's important to ensure that young people's perspectives and experiences and knowledges are taken into consideration because this is a practice that is carried out on young people. The, and the most powerful way to reach young people is one-on-one -on -one interaction. Discussing with them um, issues such as FGM and giving them that open space to ask questions and have clarifications um, and things cleared up is necessary. But definitely FGM can be eradicated within a generation. I really do believe that within all generations. I think this is the role that the diaspora should understand now. We have a big role. We have our word to say. We definitely have to come together. It's time to end FGM.